For our chapter six exam review, we're going to look at uh, some polynomial information. So first, what are the zeros of the polynomial? So zeros of a polynomial are where the polynomial crosses the x-axis. So in looking at that, this is a cubic because it crosses three times. And the zeros are in the spots that I located. So here, our first zero on the right is x equals 5. Here, our zero here is x equals 1. And then over here, this is negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So if we're finding the degree of this polynomial from a table, we're going to use the finite differences model. So what you do here is subtract and find the differences. So if I did 45 minus 0, that is 45. 0 minus uh, negative 21 is 21. And then here, I do negative 21 minus negative 24. So I'm going to use a calculator for that. Negative 21 minus negative 24 is 3. Then negative 24 minus negative 15. And I get negative 9. Negative 15 minus 0 is negative 15. 0 minus 15 is negative 15. 15 minus 24 is negative 9. And then 24 minus 21 is 3. Now, if you notice, the first difference is not constant, so this is not linear. And I would just continue here. So now I find the second difference to see if this is uh, degree 2 or quadratic. So I do 45 minus 21, and I get 24. 21 minus 3 is 18. 3 minus negative 9 is 12. And then negative 9 minus negative 15 is 6. Then negative 15 minus negative 15 is 0. Negative 15 minus negative 9 is negative 6. And if you notice here, the difference in the third difference, we have a constant value of 6. So this right here is my second difference. This would tell us this is linear. This would tell us this is quadratic. Since our third difference is constant, this tells us the function is cubic. And cubic functions have a degree of 3. So now we need to factor this polynomial by grouping. So here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to group 12p cubed and 28p together. And then minus 21p squared minus 49. So in grouping these, I'm going to factor out the largest number here I can from 12 and 28. So I'm looking here, and I notice 4 and p goes into both. So I'm going to go 4p times here. This would be 3p squared. Then 28 divided by 4 would be plus 7. Then over here, I'm going to factor out a negative um, from both and negative 7. 
So that would be minus 7 times 21 divided by uh, 7 would be 3p squared. And then if I take negative 7 out of the 49, that would be plus 7. Now, in factoring by grouping, what I'm going to do now is factor this out of the front. So I have 3p squared plus 7 times 4p minus 7. And then if I'm looking at uh, 3p squared plus 7, if I want to factor this, I notice that that does not cross the x-axis. So this is not going to have uh, real factors. This would have imaginary factors. So if I want to find all the factors, what I could do is uh, use the quadratic formula. So A equals 3, B equals 0, and C equals 7. And then here, if I wanted to uh, factor that part, x would equal uh, negative b, so negative 0. Well, actually, since this doesn't have an x term, my fault, we can solve this a little bit more clearly and say, well, then 3p squared plus 7 equals 0. And then I can subtract the 7 over, so 3p squared equals negative 7. Divide by 3, and then we would have p squared equals negative 7 over 3. Taking a square root, what would happen here? We would say p is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. But since this is negative, we would put an i on the other side. So we found the p values, and now to find the factors, this would tell us that one value uh, for p, if I subtracted it over, or uh, subtracted it over, would be p plus the square root of seven over three i equals zero, and then the same thing with the minus. So I'm going to write that over here: p minus the square root of seven over three i equals zero. So if I were to factor that completely, we would have p plus the square root of 7 over 3i times p minus the square root of 7 over 3i times 4p minus 7. So one thing, if a polynomial x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 has a 0 of x equals 2, what are the other two factors? Well, from the 0, uh, to find one of the factors, we just subtract it over. So if I minus 2 from both sides, one factor would be x minus 2 equals 0. So if we put one factor of this, we would have x minus 2. And then times, we have to find the other ones. Well, we can use polynomial division. So you just put x minus 2. And then parentheses, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. And then we see, well, how many times does x go into x cubed? And that is x squared times. Because x squared times x makes x cubed. Then we multiply x squared times negative 2 would make negative 2 x squared. Now remember here, and that should be cubed by the way, when I do division, I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to change the sign of both. So minus, and then this would be plus. This will make 0, 
negative 4x squared plus 2x squared would be negative 2x squared. And then bring down the 2x, bring down the 5. And then here, uh, to make negative 2x squared, I would need to multiply x by negative 2x. So now uh, negative 2x uh, times the x would make negative 2x squared. And negative 2x times negative 2 would be plus 4x. Remember, we're changing the signs. So this would be a positive. This would be a negative. So 2x minus 4x would be minus 2x plus 5. And then x goes into negative 2x, negative 2 times. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x down here. And then here, this would be negative 2 times negative uh, 2 would be plus 4, which would leave um, when we change that. And actually, uh, my fault here, this is supposed to have a 0 of x equals 1. So I'm going to just scrap this real quick and redo the problem. So here, we would divide it x minus 1 into x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. So repeating that process, x goes into x cubed, x squared times. So when you multiply, that would be x cubed. x squared times negative 1 would be minus x squared. So then you'd subtract and then add. That would make 0. This would make negative 3 x squared, bring down the 2x, bring down the 5. So here, um, x goes into negative 3x squared, negative 3x times. So negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 1 would be plus 3x. Remember, we're subtracting, so we change our sign. So this would be a positive, this would be a negative. That makes 0. 2x minus 3x is negative x. Bring down the plus 5. So here, this would be minus 1. So negative 1 times x would be negative x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 would be plus 1. 